There's one. We were locked out, they finally let us out. My hair is hockey, the weather is mint. Don't call me cocky, I hope we get a fish. First time out of the old lockdown for the old walleye. Going with Dangerous Dan, my homie. And he's been uh, going bonkers with a newborn at home. Uh, his wife's just yelling at him to get diapers and milk, diapers and milk, diapers and milk. Plus he's working from home, so he needs to get out, catch some walleye. So when he goes home, he can give her diapers and milk and walleye. Finally, this ramp is open. Dan is feeling dangerous. He's been locked up. They won't let him out. Fish, you better watch out. Congrats with the uh, newborn. Hands Bro, you need this. You got 10 babies. They won't let you out. This man's on rabies, foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Ready to catch some fish, eh? Ready to catch fish. Oh, it's gonna be good. Let's do this. How do rip jigs for walleye? Catch and cook. I don't know. Let's do a poll. Literally first cast with the uh, shad body. Bang! I can't believe it. So there's a first slot fish, first fish of the year. They could be on that body, Dan. Smacked it. I have a bunch of different shapes, rig, bulky shad body, skinny floppy minnow, a paddle tail. I have a stiff bait for ripping. Sometimes they're really into a certain shape, especially when I first start out this time of year. Jiggle, jiggle, rest. Jiggle, jiggle, rest. Definitely hit on the rest. There's one. Got it. Yeah, definitely a rest there, Dan. Okay. <coughs> Second cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. You want to try this bait? Beauty. The shape. Not much weeds. Like you said, I can't see too much weeds. Look at that. Oh, that was the first place. Phone chesty. Yeah, I can see you. Phone yeah. chesty it is. Viewers, don't buy that stinking GoPro 7. Was it a thump, that first one, or a tick? Yeah, it was the first one was a thump. Rest it when you have that thump. How many thumps do you think you had? One? One for sure and one tick. No, no tick. A thump and a tick? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Oh, I just missed one. Ah, damn it. I had a pinch right beside the boat. It wasn't a tick. It wasn't a thump. It was a pinch. Hmm. Pinch, pinch. Barely there. That one I didn't feel. It was just way tight. Pinch, tick, <laughs> little BPT, you know me, bite, pinch, tick, got him, ticks, pinch, Just more like nibbles, sluggish bottom. sluggish bottom, perhaps a pinch, perhaps. yeah, there's one, ooh, dropped it, might have been a perch, just about to wail on him, no more in this zone, bro, there's a presentation, if we got two, we should be able to get four, could be presentation, so I'm thinking lighter, maybe a small paddle tail, or am I going too fast, I had a pinch for sure, some warmer water with some sand not too much weed but there's some sand down there it's a bit warmer let's see if they bite better there's more fish in that first spot definitely more fish in that first spot just didn't get them to go really we missed about three or four kind of short strikes eh oh shit. oh no Just user bud Definitely out of the slot. I was rocking it kind of, eh? Good. Yeah. man. Out of the slot. They're there, eh? There's a nice one. So we came onto a shoal hard rock spot fished here for a while. They're not really firing right away, but I think they're there. Z man. Minnow. You like that one, eh? Dangerous? Oh yeah, man. This one's definitely out of the slot. Definitely out of the slot. Fought like crazy. Didn't really feel the bite. It was just kind of hopping, hopping, hopping. Yeah, definitely out. 20, 25. What a beauty. Underwater release. Underwater shot. My budget. It's been so long since we had a bite. It's been so hard. And we, we just tried dragging. First time we started dragging, instead of jigging, it was that simple. Bang. Oh, that might be in the slot. That might be in the slot. 
And we got that on a weird little Berkeley perch on the eighth on a lighter. It started dragging and bang right away. I hope that's more to come, eh, Dean? Come up with the worms and drag the uh, oh, yeah. perch. It's all about the drag, bud. They don't want the uh, the jig. It could be the drag. Yeah. No hopping, eh? Sick, bro. There's more. It's just we got ones that were ripe. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yep, got them. Nice. I think so. There is more. Look again, again in the chin, eh? You're barely feeling it, man. That might be in. They're just coming over and looking at it. This one area is just sort of getting us fish, right? So it's great. And that's on that, uh, what's that thing called again? Z-Man. That thing's been number one, I guess, out of all of them, if I had to pick. Very up. dangerous, Dan. This fish is gonna get locked up. You ain't leaving town. You're gonna get fried, bro. Kobe fry it. Fat man mentality. Fry that in lard. Oh yeah, he's in. Yay! We're frying. Grease Master Flex in the furious lard ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I was gonna say, let's get a release shot, but he ain't getting released. <laughs> he's getting greased, not released. COVID times, man. That that fish right there, it's probably worth $89.95. Plus tax. We've been getting some nice chunkies today though. Again in that chin though. Negatron. Usually when I chin hook them, it's like means my jig's too heavy. But I went to lighter and I can't get jack haul. So staying on that heavy and hoping for the chin. <laughs> so many more there, right? Every now and then I see one on a graph here and there. But like a lot of them you don't see because of the weeds. They just hide in those weeds and it's hard to see on a graph if that's really one or not. Oh my God, that was one. Yeah, I had him in the chin. He never bit it. He just came over to look at it. So annoying. I just lifted up again and it was like I got a piece of his chin man it's so weird like they're not biting it <laughs> somewhere over there dan yep don't show this guy don't show this guy this one's over the slot oh my god you won't believe this in the side like this is crazy like they're just not hitting i got them speared in that side i can almost feel them like hovering over the bait like i'm feeling them kind of hover and i just I think something's breathing on it and then bang again. It's like my third one near that region. Unbelievable. Crazy. They're just like so negatron. There's a lot more fish here than what we're seeing, but we're catching them one way or another. Oh my God. I thought it was big because it's coming in sideways spinning. Isn't that funny? Like I just said, I felt like I got a piece of one, right? right sorry, we didn't get this on film. This is for speaking. This was feet. also on. Uh, a quarter ounce jig we came to a spot we started in the morning weren't there and now the temperature jumped up here and uh bang oh out of the slot 19 and three quarters just over it's starting to come on eh i don't think that area that we were fishing this morning is going to be good though this time of day i don't even think it'll be come on yeah weird that's why i like that sandy shoal we fished earlier today that even though it was yeah. flat you know should have probably danced around it more I almost speared three there. You're hooking them in the mouth at least. I don't know if they actually wanted to bite. I'm getting ones that are just looking. I sold them some. Limit. If it's not over. That one thumped it. If this isn't in the mouth, I won't believe it. This is unbelievable, eh? How they just turn on. That damn temperature. They had to come up late in the day. Weird. So slow. And now we're just like, it's becoming electrifying. <laughs> okay, let's do a count. Put it on spot lock. I'll do a count. You fish. We're just making sure we're not over our limit. Checking out our dart collection. They're not darts, really. Yeah, we're at limit. That's five there. That's it. Limit, bro. Yeah. Boom. Boom. We didn't really bump COVID. <laughs> yeah, normally I wouldn't keep this many. But COVID times, man. He's like 100 bucks a fish in these COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> Camera wasn't rolling, but Danielson just got another one. Good job, buddy. Boom. Your jig hand's strong, and it was in the mouth. Underwater shots, man. We're moving up in the world. High budget, <laughs> underwater shots. <laughs> we're back at the ramp. It was a great day. Did you understand? Yeah, we rocked it. How do you feel? Uh, the Terranator really turned it on. <laughs> but you know what? You gotta go back to the chaos. How does that make you feel? Oh, I'm ready for the chaos. I needed one day out with Terra, and now I'm ready for the chaos. No, he's gotta go back to 18 children. Yeah. He's like Sean Kemp. <laughs> 40 kids out of wedlock. Yeah. <laughs> were you just social distancing, bro? 
totally this social distancing. Right? Yeah, as for me, I'm gonna go back and uh, I'm gonna show you a sick recipe. I'm gonna do uh, either a General Tao's. If I was a, a Wu-Tang Clan member, that would be my name, General Tao. So I'm gonna cook it. Oh uh, yeah, I wanna fry some walleye, General Tao style. Or I might steam it, we'll see. You know what I mean? And my fat man's mentality today, I'm gonna go on a lean steam, Bruce Lee machine thing. I don't know, I find out. Stay tuned. COVID, drive through problems. Ooh, ooh. Better than no McDonald's can't solve them. These are good, no. It's not gonna be good as General Taro's Magic Walleye. I don't know, maybe. These are pretty good. So it's the day after. I just uh, flayed the walleyes last night. We did the catch. Now here's the cook. Dangerous Dan is back at home. I'm milking babies and he's in danger. But anyway, I'm going to uh, hopefully not burn the house down because I'm going to use some serious grease here. We're going to do some General Tao's walleye. If I was in the Wu-Tang, like I said before, my name would be General Tao. And now I'm going to prove it. Not through my rapping skills, through my cooking skills. Am I a good rapper? I'm probably like a solid 5 out of 10. Those Wu-Tang members, they're a 10 out of 10. So like, yeah, I might have to bump out the chef because I'd be the chef of Wu-Tang. I don't think I could be really a rapper. I can't rap on their level, but I could definitely cook. Wait till you see this. General Toss never been done. Catch and cook. It's about to go down, right? Blow! Step one, you gotta fillet them walleyes. Step two, you gotta dice this up into chunks like you're doing General Tao's chicken. Did you know that a McNugget comes from General Tao's? Without General Tao's, there would be no McNugget. McDonald's, are you ready? All right, we got this all lined up now. So next step is, here's the ingredients. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description so you know how much, cause I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, you need some chili peppers, soya sauce, hoisin, hoisin sauce. Looks like this, it says hoisin, okay? This is key, don't chin out on this. This is one of the biggest things if you're gonna replace anything. Rice vinegar, not some other vinegar, gotta be rice, okay? No joke. Soy sauce, could be any old, great value brand. Doesn't matter for this, which is weird, but that, that won't hurt you. This is key, Kingsford. Kingsford is General Tao's homeboy. Um, cornstarch, authentic, see that? It says General Tao is my homeboy, right there. They had their friends, important. Three tablespoons of sugar, minced garlic and ginger and the walleye fillets, all right? So what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna put this in the cornstarch, let it rest while I stir up all these ingredients, all right? So let's do that. Step eight to five, put them walleye fillets in here. Then what we gotta do is quarter cup of General Tao's homeboy, the cornstarch, Kingsford. Wow, that got stuck in there. Gotta loosen it up. Got caked up. Chef Raekwon, eat your heart off. Just chefing it in the Pyrex. Triple beam walleye. Okay, so we got that. Coat that up, coat that while I let it, let that corn starch really coat it and get in there. The time you need, I'm just gonna stir it up and let it get it all covered. We're gonna put that in the hot grease release. Oil, oil, oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir up these ingredients in a separate bowl. The garlic, the ginger, the sugar. Uh-oh, got some hoisin in my uh, rice vinegar. Uh, I got a quarter cup of water. Is that the rice vinegar? Where's my quarter cup of water? Oh, there's my quarter cup of water right here. Soya, chili, bomb bomb. Gotta stir it up. She's hot. You gotta watch this so it doesn't boil over, but that's why I like a deep pot. Got one of them in. I'm gonna dump them all in. It's hot. She's going. That's what you want. Okay, let's get those all in until they're golden brown. Cut down, General Towels. It's gonna be phenomenal or it's gonna suck. Let's find out. Could it be mediocre? I don't think so. It's either gonna be crap or crazy good. We are under attack. Okay, okay, okay. I can't even see in there. Woo! Hot. Woo! Kobe, fry it. Fat man's mentality. R.I.P. Kobe. Long live fat man's mentality. Where your mentality becomes a reality if you eat enough grease. It takes a lot of practice, hard work, and dedication, and your mindset's gotta be grease, and you will find success. Okay, that looks about done. I'm gonna fry up this ginger now with the chili peppers. Ta-da! Just to tell about, I can smell the garlic. Once I can smell that garlic frying in there, ta-da! Maybe I'll add a little hot grease from there. I gotta be careful. Might get a fire with this if it drip. We'll throw a little of that in. Ooh, yeah, some fresh hot grease. Hot grease release. I smell the garlic, not quite yet. A little bit, okay, that's good. I'm smelling it, stir it up in there. Don't walk on thin ice. Take a walk on the wild side. Walk this way, talk this way. Hip hop or walk and woe. Walk, baby, walk. You can't walk with me. Okay, then I'm gonna add this piece by piece. Hot grease release. Why drain the oil? Add a little extra in every drop. No tissue paper needed with the tease grease special. Oh, this looks good, boy. Woo! This is serious. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 10 out of 10. Never been done before. General Tao's walleye. Never heard of it till now. The originator none greater. Maybe. <laughs> Am I overconfident? Probably. Will this be delicious? When I look at it now, probably. When I see that grease, will it make your heart pinch? 100%. Ooh, it smells good. I ain't playing. Who takes last member? General Tao. How do you like me now? Ch -ch yeah. But this is lights out. Okay, can you smell that? I'm stirring that ginger, hot chili peppers in with that walleye. And now what I'm gonna do right now is add that woo sauce. Woo! Y'all ready for this? Nah, 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 nah. Might just blow up your house. Nah, 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 nah. Now it doesn't look so tadao. Why? I think I turned the heat down too much. So I just gotta stir this in for like 30 seconds on high heat. Just get that sauce in, get it coated. Oh, the general, the general. Looks good, smells good. It does it taste good. It's an experiment, first time ever. What I don't like here, I see the chicken, the fish bits breaking off here a bit because it might be too much of a uh, soft meat compared to chicken. So that's a downfall. Like they got bits breaking off, which makes it eh, not the same, but well, it tastes good. I don't know. See that? Ooh, I don't like those bits breaking off crumbling it's hard to stir you got a gentle compared to a chicken piece right all right that's good gonna put that off to the side wait for a better rice hurry up rice hurry up hurry up hurry up run there you have it general towels on a better rice at first glance i'm not gonna lie it kind of looks like doo-doo but uh hopefully it doesn't taste like that i'm not sure it might let's find out doo-doo or not doo-doo it's a poll here it goes the first official bite i didn't cheat Gets about a like 8.7 Bush LA gravies out of a possible 10. Very good, very different. I would say this, the sesame seed is a must. Don't forget that touch at the end. And the rice, it goes good with the rice. It's a pretty sweet and tangy. So that rice miles it down a bit. It's a winner. Don't forget, never get chintzy on the grease. 